This video uh, will show you the different ways in which you can export a report in a Triamin so that you can download your re report as a PDF. Um, in here I have a sample report with some um, sample data and I'm going to show uh, what are the options for printing. So um, basically you can click the PDF button and you will get three different options for print. Now uh, the reason there are three different options is because um, when you print a page in uh, your web browser there is not a one-to-one -one correspondence between what you see on the screen and what you get in a PDF. Uh, there is different techniques for translating this data in the screen to a printed document. Because, for example, uh, a different user could have uh, the browser zoomed in, like I'm demonstrating here, and now the font size will be bigger. Uh, or you could have some different fonts uh, installed in your browser uh, that maybe will render the, the text a slightly different uh, way. Um, and uh, it's very hard to have a uh, one-size-fits-all um, method to uh, export the PDF. So uh, in order to give you as many options as possible, uh, we offer three different options. And one of them will probably produce the best results. Uh, this will depend on your web browser, on your device, on uh, whether um, your computer is, um, whether you've uh, updated your computer recently or not, uh, etc., and other factors that are outside of our control. So. First of all, there is the browser print option. So I'm going to click here to demonstrate. And what this will do is this will use your browser's uh, print function. So in this case, I'm using Google Chrome. If you're using Safari or Firefox or a different browser, this will look uh, different. And browsers allow you, uh, they give you several options. So this is typical of most browsers, not just Chrome. Um, you should have the option to save this as a PDF uh, or uh, to just print it directly to a printer. Uh, additionally, you can choose which pages you want to print. So I can, you can choose all the pages, or you can say, for example, only pages two to three. Um, in this case, I only have one page, so uh, I'm just going to choose all. Then layout, uh, you can put it landscape and portrait. So you can uh, even do this in here. And there are more settings. Typically, you can choose the size of the paper. Uh, probably A4 will give you the best results. And then margins, you can have minimum margins. So in this case, it doesn't look good, but depending on your report, uh, you may not want any margins or default margins and even customized. And in this case, you can see you can drag this and adjust it to look as uh, to make it look nice. Um, you can scroll here and see a preview of the report. So it will typically, if, if there is a table like in this case, uh, it will typically break the table nicely so that different rows, uh, so that it's not cutting the content through the text. Um, but you can always adjust the margins to make it look uh, to make it look nice. You can also scale it up or down. So you can say 90% of the size, uh, or even like I'm going to put 50% so that you see the difference. This would zoom out the text a lot, which in this case is very small. But uh, you, know, you can make it 90% or 110% if you want it slightly bigger. And by adjusting this, uh, you may get a better result when you generate the report. Finally, you can also tick here to add headers and footers. So this, for example, adds add the date in here, and it adds page numbers down here. And um, you can add background graphics, which will make these labels look uh, gray, like you see in the screen, etc. There are uh, several options. And um, when you're ready, you can click Save, and this will save it as a PDF. Now, uh, the second option we have is Export as Text. So what this does is, this is going to take the report, uh, and it's going to uh, generate a PDF document using all the text in your report. So if there are many images and tables, this will probably not work uh, very well. Um, but if it is mostly text, the report will be, uh, you will get the best quality with this. And the text in the report, you will be able to highlight it and search it. And it's, it's best for text. I'm going to show how it looks like in this case. Um, so this is how it looks like. It's slightly different to what you see on the screen. And uh, this, um, it may work, uh, I think, for example, in my opinion, in this specific case, the first uh, way I showed uh, looked better. In here, you see that these words are a little bit clamped together. But that's why there are several options. In a different uh, web browser, uh, this option may look better than the first one. The final option is export a screenshot. So what this does is this is going to 
attempt to take screenshots of the screen and it's going to try to break the pages exactly where it says here page one. So if I use this now, it should actually cut the page exactly in this uh, place. Uh, let's demonstrate. So uh, if you want to use this, you have to adjust the pages so that um, there we go. You see it cuts the, the, the no word in here. Um, so if I if I just make some extra space in here, so that the page one is cut is, is in a white area. When I print this as a screenshots, uh, it will look better. There we go. And as you can see, uh, now it's not cutting. As you can see here, uh, the the text can be a little bit blurry when you zoom in. So uh, this is because it's taking a screenshot of the screen rather than actually uh, writing the text. So it's a little bit of a different... Um, and in most cases, I think the first option will work best because it uses the browser's functionality. But these two other options, text and screenshots, they can serve as a backup method in case the first one doesn't work well. So um, a, a different type of report with more images will probably look best with this, with this method. So that's all. So you have these three options, uh, printing with the browser, and you can adjust the margins and all the other um, parameters of the report, exporting as text and exporting as screenshots. Uh, you can try them with your reports, see which one works best, and then uh, use the one that works best most of the time. Uh, thanks for watching.